Hi, my name is Chris Mason. I'm the co-owner of At Large Nutrition. This is going to be a uh, unscripted video blog uh, rant, I guess we'll call it. Uh, my business partner and I decided to go ahead and do this uh, for some discussions we've been having, some rather heated discussions, uh, concerning my uh, my opinions on uh, where things are going these days regarding uh, nutritional supplementation. Not heated discussions between he and I so much, more uh, me venting uh, my heat about what I read on our forums, wannabebig.com, um, regarding what people are recommending. Uh, so let's talk briefly about that. The biggest, the, the most recommended supplement online, on any forum, whether it's ours or any other, is protein. Uh, and what seems to have taken place over the years through through all of the the advertising and the marketing hype and, and, and whatnot is that people have be become convinced that protein in and of itself is an ergogen an ergogen being defined as something that has uh, has an effect on, on performance um, so protein is, 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 a, is a macronutrient if you're deficient in protein I suppose it could be an ergogen you're, you're, you're going to benefit from its use um, but very few people <laughs> on the western diet in America for sure uh, are protein deficient, um, especially bodybuilders, powerlifters, strength athletes, etc. Um, it just doesn't happen. Uh, nutritional supplementation with protein for them should be used solely in the context, well not solely, basically in two contexts. One, as a post-workout shake, because there is evidence that shows that protein and carbohydrates, along with some fats by the way, that's a separate rant, um, are, are effective in, in improving the net nitrogen balance post-workout. In other words, in getting you into an anabolic state after, immediately after you train. The other use of protein supplementation would be for someone on a hypocaloric or a, a low-calorie diet who's trying to lose body fat. Um, those individuals, a supplemental protein provides you a, a high-quality, low-calorie source of protein, so it fits into that equation. Beyond that, protein, you take protein, if you're eating sufficient calories and you, you ingest some additional protein, it's not going to do anything for your training. We sell protein, at large nutrition, in fact, that's our number one selling product, nitrine. Uh, and yet, I'm telling you right now, it's not an ergogen. You can use nitrine, like I said, in the, in the, the way that I just mentioned. Beyond that, if you want to get big and strong, don't get protein. I don't care if it's our protein somebody else's protein, you don't need supplemental protein for that purpose beyond the post-workout window. So you might want to have it to use it specifically for that. You don't get it and think it's going to work like uh, steroids. In other words, people somehow equate protein to, I think, steroid-like gains. Not happening. Doesn't work that way. If you want to get big and strong, there are very few proven ergogens. Beta-alanine is one. Creatine is another. HMB is another. Combine those three, like we did with our product results, and you have an excellent ergogen, a product that's going to help you get bigger, faster, and stronger. There's no question about that. In fact, you get additive effects by combining those, those individual ingredients. In other words, HMB and creatine and beta alanine all can affect muscle size strength, and they all will have that effect via independent pathways, <coughs> such that when you combine them, you get additive benefits. You get greater benefits than by consuming any one of the above. Um, so, if you want to get big and strong, forget the protein. And it, it doesn't have to be our product. If you want to get another product, fine. But get creatine, get beta alanine, get HMB, combine them at a very minimum creatine and beta alanine. Uh, those are just, again, tons of proven research out there showing that those, those supplements will help you to increase size, lean mass, strength, strength endurance, all the things that anyone that trains with weights should want. Um, so, end of rant. I probably rambled too much. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And uh, I hope you can get the best results you want out of your gym training and by doing so, by supplementing properly. Thank you.